shout out to the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're putting together a boy band out there. My God. They already bought a title two fucking years ago, right? They buy LeBron because they know that he's like a fucking, he's like a, 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 what do you call it? That's like a cornerstone. And then all the fucking free agents will f- flutter over to him like a moth to a light. Then they get Anthony Davis, right? Fuck New Orleans. Those people, they don't, they don't deserve anything, do they? It's just New Orleans. They're just Americans. Why should they enjoy an NBA title? Why should they have Anthony Davis and Zion, right? Fuck it. Go ahead. See ya. He goes to there and they buy a fucking title. Um, oh my God, I was fucking teasing Laker fans on Twitter. Jesus Christ. And then they fucking, uh, they all took the bait and none of them could defend them buying a title. All they kept saying, you mad, bro? Don't be sad. Why you hating? That's the intellect of a Laker fan. But what else are they going to say? They should just admit it. Yeah, we're buying titles. (laughs) Why I do it. We bought one in 2008. The Celtics bought a fucking title. That was a fucking pile on championship. There you go. And we and but you know what? We only we only need two. We only needed two free agents. Unlike these cunts. Then they had uh fucking uh what's his face? Tim Witherspoon there, uh, Westbrook. Then they had him, right? And they go, here we go again. And then I don't know what. I guess they were watching an episode of the Golden Girls, so they they signed fucking Carmelo Anthony. All right. Oh, oh my god, he's he's an all defensive player. <laughs> here we go, we're back. Hesitation. And the shot from three. Carmelo Anthony. Hey, Monk got it back. Kicks it out. Anthony. Hits. Anthony. Hits the. Anthony gets free. Will take and connect. Okay. Um, And then today they got for like the third fucking time. Dwight Howard. I think the Lakers are just, for some reason, it just bothered them that this fucking Adonis could not win a ring with them. They just have to fucking get this guy a goddamn ring. Don't ever give up on your dreams. Give up on your dreams. Get fucking do it. I swear, just keep fighting. I swear to God, don't ever give up on your son. Look at this shit, bro. I'm sorry for cursing all the kids out there. Bro, listen, don't ever give up on yourself. No matter how you get up. You already attacked. Give us a touch, baby. Um, but that is, you know, I guess it's, it's consistent with the Lakers. They've always bought other people's stars. It's just what they do. That's what they do. They're Mount Rushmore. They always talk about all the great centers, centers in fucking LA Laker history. And none of them, none of them, unless you go back to world war two and find the white guy, George Mike, and, and that was in Minneapolis, but there's not one hall of fame center. In the Los Angeles Lakers history, that was a drafted Los Angeles Laker. They cannot pick a fucking center to save their fucking lives. So they got to take out the checkbook and buy Wilt and buy Kareem and buy Shaq and buy Anthony Davis. They just got to buy the guys. Ugh. Which I guess is fine because that's how they fucking do it now. But like for them to just sit there, oh, you know, Kobe's got five titles. He's only one behind fucking... Jordan, it's like Jordan didn't get a boatload of free agent help every fucking year. It's not the same thing. You can say he's got five and Jordan has six, but don't act like it's the same level of difficulty because it isn't. It isn't. Jordan did not play in a fucking era where everybody was friends and sat on a fucking boat and just, hey, let's all jump on this team. And we'll win a title. Oh, okay. Hey, now everybody, we're jumping on this team. I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying it because he's fucking Laker. F- it drives him fucking bananas. <laughs> uh, if it wasn't for the rest of the league drafting the right people and developing the talent, the Lakers could never win a title. <laughs> um, yeah. And I love these Laker fans that try to act like the Kobe Shaq era. It wasn't a pylon t- fucking team with Phil Jackson. And you can totally tell it was a pylon team because when Shaq got sick of Kobe, he goes, all right, fuck you. I'll go play with Dwayne Wade. And then they won. Bam. I can win with you or I can win with you. I'll either pile on here or I'll fucking pile on there. Um, All right. I'm done with that shit.